are prayerless. That's why you are still fornicating. You saw a woman's breast and your leg began to shake like this. It's a proof that you, you don't know fire. <laughs> it's a proof that your refinery has broken down. It's a proof that you are not willing to come out of your situation. Because the day you become willing to come out of that situation and you begin to engage prayer, you will find out that the things that you call your weakness previously, you will pass from before them and go to a land where they don't exist. Oh my God. In fact, speaking in tongues happens to be the only gift we have received from the Holy Spirit that you can use at will. According to the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 14, Paul said that I will pray in the Spirit. I will pray in my understanding also. That is to say that it's up to you to decide how much of this spiritual capital you are willing to use on a daily basis. When I discovered that it is up to me to use, I wanted to see how far I could pray. And so some Saturdays I shut down and I begin to speak in tongues. I, I started, I did four, four hours the first Saturday. Next Saturday I came, I did six hours. Next Saturday I did eight, uh, eight hours. And a time came when I prayed in tongues for 18 hours. I said, so, okay. So if I want to go, the, the system will support me. It's a wonderful spiritual experience. Meanwhile, the baptism of fire, it comes on the foundation of the baptism of the Holy Ghost. When you are baptized in the Holy Ghost and you decide to begin to run your refinery and you are consistent in the place of prayer, you are consistent in the place of prayer, a day will come when you will be baptized in fire. There are some evidences I have here to show that you have fire. Number one. This first evidence that shows that you have entered into the regime of the baptism of fire is that there is a strange passion for the things of God that invades your soul, that possesses your soul. Your soul is choked with passion for the things of God. You see, the devil operates from the environment. The devil operates externally. The devil kindles situations. He kindles circumstances. So that those that have no passion will break down and they will follow the pattern of the pleasures in the environment. They will surrender to the challenges in the circumstance. So whereas the devil operates from outside, God operates from inside. And those of you that have ever been on a canoe, you know that it is not the water that is around the canoe that makes it sink, but it's the water that is inside of the canoe. Oh, what will determine whether you keep afloat is not what is in the circumstances, because Satan will be operating from the circumstances. It's what is inside of you. And so what God does when he baptizes you with fire is that he places a passion. Some people can't understand us. I was in the oil industry for 16 years. And when the time came for us to, for me to become a management staff, normally what is done is that you go for a training for two weeks and at the end of the training you write an examination and if you pass the examination 70 is the cut of mark if you get 70 in all of the five examinations you will write um you will qualify hallelujah unfortunately for me i don't fail exams if you put me in an exam hall it's most natural for me to pass in fact those courses we normally hold the least i've ever had was 74 percent so it was obvious that i was going to make it and i was going to be a management staff i'm not talking about a management staff in teaching service board of of Imo state i'm 
I'm talking about the petroleum industry. And because our payment structure in Nigeria is performance driven, and uh, we account for 98% of our gross domestic product as, as staff of the oil industry, it therefore justifies the reason why we are high speed. And when you cross into the management cater, then you will not have breath of fresh air. The Lord give you understanding in Jesus' name. And it came to pass, I was heading for a crusade. Just like today. And normally when I have an event like this, I pray for money to live. And in the evening, we were driving to the crusade ground and the Lord spoke to me. He said, when will your passport expire? I said, 28th of September, 2020. He said, your job expires that day too. What? Hallelujah. What happened that day? He said, your job has expired. Eh? I pressed for the after the crusade to find out if it was God that was speaking. He repeated himself again and again. So on the 5th of October, I wrote my resignation and I submitted. My colleagues said they have they, they have struck me from the village. <laughs> Hallelujah. You see, people cannot understand the man of passion. The economy of God that was at work in my soul made that job look like dung. When the great monarch of Zion had confirmed that it was his counsel for me to come out of that place. You can never understand that life if you don't have fire. You are trying to manage the land that you inherited. <laughs> you are trying to manage your circumstances. The day fire comes upon your soul, the Holy Ghost will become your commander. He will give you directives that as a man, you will feel that this is a wrong directive. But when that fire keeps burning, it will take away every pleasure that you have in that matter that you hold it on. And it becomes dung in your sight. And you give it away. Do you know? It is October. This day that will make it one year that I left work. The life I have today what God has done for me today is better than what would have happened to me if I became a married master. May the Lord open your eyes in the name of Jesus to understand priority. When you come into the economy of fire, there will be a passion on your soul. That passion will supersede anything that this world can give. So when you find a man of passion, and there is no way to understand him apart from the move of God upon his heart. Then such a man has entered into the economy of fire. Number two. A man that is under the influence of fire carries a contagious spirit. If you are not ready to serve God, don't go close to him. Don't even go close to his messages. Don't go close to his trousers. Don't go if he... If he spreads his trousers and his shirt here, don't touch it. Don't touch it if you don't want to serve God. Because that man is carrying something that is contagious. Fire is contagious. If you touch it, oh my, you begin to behave like it. 